Hey everybody, welcome to the new guide for Gamma. Um, first off, I want to say thank you for that last video. Um, lots of views. Uh, glad that that video was helping people. Still sort of is, but very outdated. Um, also, thanks for all the problems and stuff you listed in the comments. It was uh, really good to sit there and troubleshoot all that. And thanks for the people that uh, troubleshot um, problems that I didn't have expertise for. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this guide. There is going to be no customization in this one. This one's just going to be Anomaly install, Gamma install, and if I run into any problems, those will be at the end of the video. So we're going to go through, going to be like a normal install if everything goes pretty good. And then at the end, you'll see issues that I run into, and I'll name those chapters with about what the issue was. So, and how to go about fixing those. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start with some prep work. First thing you need to do is go and join the Gamma Discord. Link will be down below. Next thing you're going to do is make sure you have 70 gigabytes worth of space free. So we're going to use software drive for myself, 184 gigabytes free. While you're here, go ahead and make a anomaly folder. And go ahead and make a Gamma folder. That's all you'll need there. So once you do that, you're also going to need to go and download 7-Zip. Do not use WinRAR. Make sure you go and download Anomaly 1.5.1, as well as the update to 1.5.2. And if you have a torrent downloader, you can use these magnets here, as well as this torrent down here. And then pick one of these mirrors, and it will take you to this website. And you're going to download the newest add-ons download and the newest Gamma RC3 download. Once you have that, you can go ahead and make sure that those are in your downloads folder. Don't do what I did and click on the mirrors and just hit download to the closest thing because you end up downloading two things of uh, add-ons downloads. So you should have 1.5.1. 1.5.1 to 1.5.2, Gamma add-on downloads, Gamma RC3. And you should also have 7-zip for these. Once you have all that, make sure you disable your antivirus for the Gamma and Anomaly folders before you start. Bitdefender will 100% crash the game randomly because it does not like the Mod Organizer 2 virtual file system. And for this step 8, we already did that. That was where we went over to here found our uh, root drive that we wanted to use and made those two folders. So we'll go ahead and start on the installation. So for the installation, we'll go ahead and go to extracting anomaly. So this is going to be the anomaly install first. So let's go ahead and go here to our root drive that we want, get our downloads. And we're going to go ahead and extract the files navigate to wherever uh, we made those. So in my case, this is going to be the software drive. Cool. Once you got that, it's going to go ahead and do this, and I'll be back whenever this is good to go. All right. So now we've got the folder extracted. We're going to go over and check this. So also move the 1.5.2 anomaly patch zip into the anomaly folder. So we're going to go to our downloads. We're going to do just extract to here. And whenever that does its thing, shouldn't take too long. We'll go ahead and uh, move those files in there. The patches are pretty quick. Um, the main files are going to take a while. Uh, I think it took like four ish minutes just for anomaly itself but the patch file is pretty quick so we're going to go ahead and open up our software go into our anomaly we have anomaly 1.5.1.2 which is correct and then we have our folders here so this should be good to go cool so we did extract here which creates the folder right here go ahead and click into that drag all of these into here and you're going to replace all files. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and 
launch anomaly 1.5.2 once. And this is just to give like a sanity check and also give it that first run so it can set everything up. So go ahead and launch the launcher here. I wouldn't mess with any of these settings yet. All you're going to do is play Stalker Anomaly. It's going to start up. It's going to do its thing. And then we'll go ahead and start on the Gamma install process after this. Boom. Done. So Anomaly is installed. If you just want Anomaly, that's all you need to worry about. On to Gamma. All right. So we're going to start in the install of Gamma. So if we go back to the Discord here, we need to extract gamma rc3.7z using 7-zip to a new folder. Now that new folder is going to be where we made uh, the gamma folder. So let's go ahead and navigate back to downloads. We're going to navigate back to our root drive so we can get to gamma right here. We're going to go ahead and extract files. Software, gamma, call it OK. Make sure that that's correct. Go ahead and confirm it. That's going to take a lot faster than what I thought there for a second, but we'll cut to where it's done. All right, so that one's done. We'll make sure that we did that right extract using 7-zip. Open the newly extracted and move gamma, gamma add-on download 7-zip archive there. So we're going to go to the gamma folder, gamma rc3. And let's double check just to make sure we don't have to put this anywhere specific. Open newly extracted this, move that. This will fill the gamma rc3 downloads folder with the add-on archives. Okay. So that should fill this up. Just want to be sure. So we'll go ahead and open it up so we can be sure about that. 7-zip, uh, open archive. Yep, so it's going to give us our downloads folder here. And you can see there's downloads folder here. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. All I'm going to do is click and drag out to here. And that's going to extract the downloads folder into here, and we'll see how that looks. All right, so that's all done. Didn't take too long, only a minute. Uh, we did get some data errors, so we'll save that for the end of the video, and I'll see if I can't find some stuff on that. Once again, there's some data errors. Cool. Call that good. Data errors may occur for a few add-ons during the extraction. That's normal, continue as intended. So I retract my previous statement. Don't worry about it. Next thing you're going to do, go to the installer itself. You're going to get this uh, command prompt. Cool. So once you get here, this is very, very, very important. So once you get here, what you're going to do is not do what I did. <laughs> and you heard that right. Not do what I did. You're going to right-click this and run as admin. Don't do what I did and just run it. That's, that's a bad thing. Cool. So on first install, click each once. Allow PowerShell scripts. Launch Mo2. Dismiss the error message for Stalker Anomaly. So some of the steps are right here, right? So dismiss that. Click Browse and go to wherever Anomaly is installed. We're going to go Browse. Anomaly is installed right here on our software drive, right here. And yeah, we'll just select the folder. So boom, we selected the folder. Starting Modern Organizer 2 for the first time. Do we want to do a tutorial? Eh, not today. Cool. Done. There is no profile found using default. That's fine. Once you get that, you can just quit out of Motu. And now all you're going to do is download the Gamma Update data. Or sorry, download Gamma data. So that's first step. Once this finishes, 
Let's just double check. Make sure we're good. Yep, download Gamma Data, wait till it's done, and then we'll click the full install. And then once that process is finished, we need to check in Mo2 if we have 334 add-ons. So let's open this back up. So we're about halfway there. So we'll cut to wherever it's done. All right, so now for the really long and finicky version. Uh, or step, not version, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to hit this full gamma install. Once it says done down here, don't click it before you see done. And then this might take a while, or it will take a while, but also it can be finicky. It can over, you can overload on the mod DB mirror. So they added a status button down here. So you can see the health of the mod DB servers. Um, we'll go ahead and click that just for G whiz knowledge. So we can see all the capacities here. Pretty good, right? So we can see where we can download from. Try to stay away from anything that is, well, definitely above capacity, like here. Try to stay within a decent capacity. That's going to affect uh, if your downloads get uh, screwed up or not. So we're going to go ahead and use... Let's look at those mirrors again. We're going to select our mirror to be... Hmm... Let's see, we got two EU servers. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be uh, what I thought it would be right here. So I would just click whichever one's closest to you. For me, it's uh, right here. So we're mod to be downloads. We'll use mirror 114. I don't know what mirror that is. I wish I did. So we're just going to use the one closest. That'll uh, help for our downloads and all of that. And all you're going to do is hit full install. And then we'll cut to where uh, this is done. Because this is going to take a while. If we have any errors, um, like I said, I'll put those at the end of the video. And then I'll explain what I did to fix it. But most of the time, to fix the active add-ons, it's going to be just do another full reinstall and grabbing your crash log. So we'll go ahead and cut to where this is done. All right, so we're done. That took about an hour or so. So you can see once you get to the end, it'll say installation complete. You can now launch the instance of Mod Organizer 2 of the mod pack from the desktop. If you want to support this mod pack, please go and donate. So we'll double check, make sure the process is finished. We can close the installer and double click on the shortcut on the desktop. So you should get a shortcut here. Now, <clears throat> I already have Anomaly installed because I didn't want to mess up my uh, save. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. And this will uh, also help you guys uh, that might not have the, uh, I guess you can call it uh, shortcut. Yeah, for those of you that don't have the shortcut, just trying to make sure that we're all good here. Um, let me make sure of something. So once process is finished, close the installer, should see 334. If not, you'll crash on game start. There is something else to do in case uh, it doesn't work. And most of the time for me, it doesn't work unless I do this. Go to mod pack patches, copy these. So once you copy those, uh, that is, yeah, copy. And then you'll navigate to your anomaly folder. And you'll just paste this. I'll ask if you want to replace them. You say yes. I have never gotten Gamma to work without doing that. So that whole process was going to Gamma, Gamma RC3, the installer, Gamma, Patches, copy these. Go back to your anomaly folder and paste inside of here. And then replace all those files. That's, 
that's what's worked for me in the past. I'm not going to say that that's what you should do, but that's what it took to work for me. Uh, next up, I'm going to start Mod Organizer 2 from here because I've already got a gamma shortcut that goes to my C drive. And it's going to say the selected profile does not exist. The profile of gamma will be used instead. That's perfectly fine. That's exactly what you want. And boom, there you go. So now you check if you have 334 active add-ons right here. You got 334. Go to launch. Make sure that we do this right, right? Stalker Gamma is now ready to run. Select DEX11-AVX and run. So we're going to double check that. Cool. So its default is here. Make sure you select this. Run. Boom. You should get the splash page. And with any luck, this is good. Now, we didn't run into any issues on this install. So the steps seem to be working. Uh, I don't really have any troubleshooting stuff. All the stuff that uh, I said I wanted to troubleshoot, it was uh, self-induced. So follow the steps, right? Follow the steps. Sometimes, uh, you know, things are going to happen. So it does take a while for Gamma to initialize, which is why we're still stuck on this black screen. But make sure you, you sit there and follow the steps. And boom, you're good. So next thing to test would be starting a new game right cool we're just gonna go like this uh yeah let's do cordon start and this just to verify that this is working because uh, i know a lot of people they have installed gamma and then it crashes like as soon as you start a new game so we're gonna test that right now it should be good so we'll see what happens So far, we're looking good. Like, it looks like everything's good. Uh, not much has changed from the past install. I mean, we did the mirrors thing. I don't know how to use the torrents, so... Uh, mainly because I just don't use torrents. So, good luck with that. If you try that, uh, I can't really help you with that. Hopefully somebody else can. And like I said, there is no customization in this guide. Um... I'm going to do some tinkering and see if I can't get my saves ported over to this. And if I can port over my saves, then I think I'll do a customization guide after, like in another video. But it doesn't look like we have any troubleshooting to do. Everything seems to be going great. So enter the zone. Boom, boom, boom. Open up our inventory here. Yeah, um, everything is working as advertised. Uh, let's come outside. Yeah, so there you go. That's how you install Stalker Gamma. Once again, I appreciate all you guys. Uh, on the last video, that video blew up. Uh, no thanks to Drewski. Um, is what I'm going to say. Drewski released a video and all of a sudden my guide, previous guide, just lit up. So I'm going to call it there, though. Um, that's how you install. That's how we do the prep work. Install Anomaly. Install Gamma. No customization. No troubleshooting on my part uh, needed to happen. It all went smooth. So with that, I'll go ahead and see you guys next time.